Are there what nails up here? Oh yeah, you got nails. Nails popping through the shingles. Yeah, you got nails popping through the shingles. That's not good. That's good. All right. Well, let's figure out where we're going from here. There's a couple other places we have shingles sticking up through the roof. That's another shingle coming through the roof right there. Okay, right here you have a dip in the shingle, which needs to be fixed. I'm sure it's holding water. Oh, man, look at this. Come here, Tony. Look at their gaps. Oh, man. This is a shingle end. This is another shingle end. This is another shingle end. And this is another shingle end. And then there's another one right here. So they ran these shingles only a couple of inches, literally. Yeah. This is completely wrong. I literally gave it just a couple inches of break and it should be eight to 10 inches. From here to there should be eight to 10 inches. And if you look here, you got one inch. That's just one inch. Yep. The problem that you have over here is the water on the inside of your house is coming in the house somewheres in this area. They ran these valleys all the way up here. Let's see where it crosses here and this other shingle crosses here. It should be crossing down here, like this. That's where they should cross. And these ones are crossing way up here. This is the bottom where they should be crossing and they're crossing way up here. And, and the water is either going in these places or it's going in your hip. Right here where the water is rushing down the roof and it slams right into the side of that hip right there and I'm sure that water is going up under a, a gap it's going right up to here and then in the house and once it's in here it finds the first sheet of plywood that has a has a crease in it because they run eight feet wide by four feet tall it's just run, finding the first crease in between your rafters and going straight in so the so the caps, no, there's not enough lap. So the caps would have to come off from here, at least partially three quarters of the way down here. If it was my place, I'd probably redo re these, these valleys. I'd tear them out and run them proper. Um, these shingles on this side here need to be ran up over the cap and, and over this edge so that when water does come down, if it does go up underneath the cap, it goes over the side and comes out on this side and goes down. Now this is a modular home, hold this, this is a modular home, so what they do is they build this part separate. The, the original roof runs up to about here, and then from here to here they add that on. And they do the same thing on the other side, from there to there, to there on the other side, they add it on. And so there, what happens is they felt this side of your roof, and then when they put this on, if it has felt on it, you still have a break in the felt. So where there's nothing there, so any water, especially where these things were not run on the proper seams, has a, an easy chance of getting into the uh, attic area here. So I'm going to suggest taking this top side off, and the top side off over there, from one end to the other, and peel and seal down past the connection of the second roof, and then reinstalling them shingles all the way down here and all the way down there, and redoing the caps, and repairing your hip down here. And this section down here needs to come up, needs to come up about three feet, two and a half to three feet. Okay, and these shingles need to be replaced for the bottom because we need to put some peeling stick under this thing. It should have peeling stick here, it should go over this piece of drip edges down here. And there's nothing down there. And the shingles that they ran for starters are flipped upside down. And they didn't give enough space between this shingle look you can see right through here and you can see the gutter itself I mean the drip edge right there the white drip edge and you're not supposed to be able to see that so they got a break in the shingle here they got a break in the shingle here so too many breaks going on here so I'm gonna give a measurement from here to there replacing the bottom edge replacing from one edge at the top on both sides and replacing this hip right here also it could be coming from that valley um, also could be coming from the valley, so I'm just going to figure the hip in the valley right there. At least um, from up to top there. 
all the way down this valley right here to about here. And take it out and replace it. These shingles across here. Alright, Tony, thank you. I think that's that's gonna take care of it. That's a lot of work. When you have water as hard as it rained yesterday running down this roof, I mean we had uh, nine inches of rain. R water running down and hitting this valley right here with a, a set of hips right here. The water as fast as it was running was running right up underneath these caps and where these shingles here come over and stop and these shingles here come up and stop there's a gap right in between here well if you have a gap in between there then right here where the water's running at nine inches throughout the day um, it's just running up there and going under this shingle and right to here and it's in the house therefore running down the porch creating the leak inside your um, underneath side so that, that leak's coming from here. The water just rushed